Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is your 16 to the 17. You can timestamp this, but there is a very important announcement. On the 26th of April, I will be doing my first webinar. Now, this webinar is about Venus. Now, okay. Um, there's going to be a link down there if you want to um, join the class. Now, the class is basically focusing on Venus and how you can prepare okay, for love and relationship that you guys are, um, you know, of course, manifesting and, you know, um, as far as the energy is like you're trying to bring into your life, okay? So this is all going to be all about love, relationship, marriages, and partnership. That's what the focus is on, on on the webinar. So it's all about the planet of Venus. We're gonna, gonna be discussing about the chart. We're gonna be discussing about how how it affects people and all this um, different stuff for for different rising sign. And it's gonna be live. So then of course there's gonna be a limited time where I can answer question. Okay. So there's gonna be a link down there for that um, webinar. And of course it's gonna be just a limited slots because. Um, you know, it's like, I don't know how much we can accommodate. So check it out. All right. Now let's begin your dailies. This is your 16 to the 17. Here we go. Especially you, Taurus. Your Venus ruled. Six of cups. Okay. So it's going to be 26. Okay. It's a Friday. There we go. From a Taurus. Let's begin. We're using also the girl deck. Yes. Here we go. There, the magician, Aries got this single, ready to mingle. Okay, they got it in the in their extended. Mm -hmm. um, this energy is all about okay, being able to do any um, you know what you want right now with your life, um, having a sense of freedom and a sense of direction. This is also a rep representation of accomplishment with regards to. Um, well, normally it's like it's a school study, okay? like you studied and you finish, or but you're fin you're finished. You could be probably finishing a course also with the magician, but it can also be like oh you just finish a seminar. But this is all about finishing something with regards to matters of knowing. But this is gonna also just be finally realizing what is love, okay? Because each of the ones over here is show uh, each of the ones, each of the um, the aces over here is representation of what you know now. Okay, so that's why it's a cups, it's a pentacles. So that's it. You can also be starting a new career also here. Let's see. It's a Virgo or Gemini, but it's a J Shana Chatra for me. So it's gonna be Scorpio. Okay. Got an Empress card. Mm-hmm. So Venus is definitely saying it's like, oh the class is the class, the class. I need to attend the class. This is what you're gonna learn. Okay. <laughs> how to manifest. Not, not how you manifest. I mean you can bring um, you can you can attract the energy and the vibration. You can welcome and prepare for it. That's the whole focus of it. Okay, um, but with the, with Venus over here showing that there can be someone in love with you. Of course, as an Empress card, this can be a Taurus or um, you know or a Libra. Um, the energy right now is um, right now. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure where the Moon is, but if it's gonna be happening on on Libra, if there's gonna be uh, activity there. Okay. I mean, it's going to be in the axis, meaning sun in the first house and then moon in the seventh house, okay? So, which means there is some sort of union that is manifesting as far as like the number over here, there's number four. So, I feel like, you know, it's two people coming together who are whole, okay? That's good right there with the Empress card. They love you, okay? Very much. Get a six of wands, you're traveling to see this person, okay? Or they're... Um, this is an energy also of someone is famous okay, with what they do. Six of Wands with the Magician. Someone is a very... Uh, uh, this can be you who a lot of people adores you at work also. Um, this is um, the energy of accomplishing something because the Six of Wands also finishes something and it's arriving. So this can be your other person. Someone is definitely arriving to visit. Mm -hmm. Younger energy. Nine of Pentacles here. Someone is very confident with regards to how they feel. You're connected with someone's ideal. This person is very, very ideal. Independent, okay, who own, who probably can own their business or there's a person here who's, who, whose abundance is just natural. So it's going to be like an inheritance. Empress card with the Nine of Pentacles, okay. So that's good. Two people who are single, ready for basically a commitment, I feel here. Ten of Pentacles. So I told you, we're ready for a commitment. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. 
Ten of Pentacles is legacy, inheritance, money, abundance, finances that is doing well. I feel like this is you. You could have started also a new business and it's flourishing. A new career that you're getting a lot of payout, okay? This is also can be, I'm not sure, because tax return doesn't get doesn't come out anytime soon. But if you filed early, I guess, and then you get your tax return over here. But normally it's a six of pentacles, that's a payout. Ten of pentacles is like you're sitting on some, on some uh, either you're sitting on fortune or someone is sitting here very, very wealthy. Okay. He's very wealthy. Okay. Ooh. Mm, interesting. Now we will have to see this. Because Nine of Pentacles with a Seven of Swords, there can be someone who is involved. Okay. Who has a family already. Ten of Pentacles. Who is a mistress. It's a twist of fate over here. You are basically in a pickle jar. And there's a lot of pickle. Okay. There's a Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Empress card. Um, someone here wants to be single, but they're still with someone. Okay. But this can be you or the other person. Now, don't get confused. Come back. So, both are technically single. Technically single. Because the other person wants to live whoever the, the whoever they are with to be with this person. You understand me? Okay? I don't sense that they're cheating you or you're cheating, you know, but the other person is being cheated on. You understand me? But this can be you also. So, but I'm going to continue this reading, of course, right? So let's see here. It's a twist of fate, but we'll see more of the Seven of Swords energy, how that's going to pan out. Now, this is the girl deck. Let's see here. The toughest soul can disarm the toughest pride. Oh, I see the donut. No, that's good. Donut is good. Donut is life. Okay. Someone here is saying sorry. So someone here could have admitted that they have cheated, lied, betrayed you. Um, you haven't accepted that path. Forgiveness, of course. It's a little bit challenging because, you know, you know like, it doesn't come easy when you are lied to, betrayed, you know. It takes a lot of uh, pride for you to accept that. Okay, meaning to accept someone's, you know, um, how to say this, to accept someone's uh, imperfection. Okay, because then, you know, it's like, you never swallow your, you don't swallow your pride, you spit it out. So that, you know, it's like, because you, if you swallow it, you're always just going to be in the high horse, six of wands. Okay, so you let go of your pride if you want to forgive this person who betrayed you, vice versa, if you're a cross watcher, in order for it to work out. Because it's Ten of Pentacles, though. Okay, so thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. I'm going to continue this reading. We'll look more on how there is the cheating energy lies deceit here. Have a wonderful... Oh, and check it out. Link down there. Bye, Taurus. Bye.